Check it out, you guys. I'm making homemade chicken and dumplings for under 20 bucks. And it only takes you about 45 minutes. And I promise you, anybody can do this. You're gonna need three large stalks of celery. I'm using like five decent sized carrots. I'm gonna use one small onion. Now reach down on your hip for Dano's original. We got about a third of a bottle. We're gonna add all that in there. I know I can run to Walmart or Kroger or go to the Dano seasoning website and check out the store locator. Now we're adding 12 cups of chicken stock. We're also gonna add six cups of water. Now the beautiful thing about Dano's and the chicken stock is that we already got enough salt in here. We're gonna bring that to a boil just to let the vegetables cook for at least 15 minutes. Now it's time to make our dumplings. I'm gonna use about three cups of flour. Now the key here is I like to use self rising flour. Now I'm gonna use a half stick of melted butter. Usually I would use soften, but I didn't have any soft. We're going in with Dano's original. Pop, 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 pop. One cup of warm chicken stock. We're definitely gonna have to add some more flour. Now we got it to this consistency. Get a little flour in your hands. We're gonna knead this all together. Flatten it out a little bit. More flour. Fold it over, press it in. Just keep doing this. There's our dumpling ball. Put some flour out on your table. Dough down. Now you need a pizza cutter and a rolling pin. I'm gonna cut it into three sections. Set these two to the side. And just start rolling it out. I wanna keep it kind of thick. Scrape up your dumplings. Look at that, perfectly cut, just how I want it. All right, our vegetables are cooked. We're on a soft rolling boil, and it's time to start adding some dumplings. Make sure you don't just throw them all in, drop them in one at a time. When they get all bunched up, just find you a little spot and drop it in. When you use your spoon, just use the back of it to move them to the side. Don't stir. Look at those monster dumplings, you guys. That's why I like using the self-rising flour. They just tend to puff up a little more. We got these little crusties in here. So we're gonna get some of these that actually got the dough bits in them. It's gonna help thicken up our broth and really turn it into like a gravy. Put the lid on, turn it to a simmer, let them cook for about 10 minutes. Get your rotisserie chicken, definitely adding that juice in. Get that chicken pulled apart. I like to leave it in bigger chunks. All right, it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna turn it off. So now the last step is to add the chicken. Let that chicken come back up to temperature and you're ready to eat. Time to serve it up. It's time to reap the rewards. Let's give it a try. Wow. You wanna add a little spice? Either add the spicy Danos or the Chipotle. I love the spicy Danos on some chicken and dumplings. It gives it an awesome little spice. Now that is a yum yum get you some. I hope you enjoyed. It literally took under an hour to make this from scratch. Yum yum get you some.